بس انت سيتي ليك بقى حنان انا تمر ليدي you guys the boys requested a iftar party so i've invited all the boys in the family and they're going to have an iftar party but i wanted to show you this little area you guys um <laughs> did you hear that Eunice made it Eunice has made this little Ramadan for he was like this is gonna be part of my Ramadan iftar party and uh, yeah hello you bye to you too bye yeah we have been in the kitchen got my bathy set so you know what time it is just started cooking mashallah look Yahya and Eunice. Fandi, have water at all? Ha. Who's taller? Yahya, you have gone so tall, mashallah. I'm taller than him. It's because I drink so much milk out of that every every day. <laughs> <laughs> I drink so much milk. Milk, yeah? Okay. And Sul is walking around with a, a perfume <laughs> for all the boys. How is Yahya the same height as you now? No. Why is my shoe? Yeah, Give it. God, I am picking up the camera now, you guys. Because <laughs> yesterday it was hectic. I don't know if I shared with you guys. I've got a new rug in the living room. Am I feeling it? I'm not quite sure. I've moved a little bit of things around in the living room again. And uh, Eunice and the boys were having a iftar party. And he put it here and he thought it would look cute. And I actually agree with him. It was really, really cute. I need to add more things to the table after Ramadan Mubarak is gone. But I really love it. And then he put all the praying mats bas in the basket over there. <laughs> My little soldier. Everyone's gone to the park. He's not. He's very, very hungry right now. Welcome back to another day of Ramadan. Yesterday the boys had iftar party and I was knackered you guys so I didn't pick up the camera after that. I didn't even get to show you their little cute setup. I didn't take no pictures whatsoever. I don't know if you guys have noticed but this Ramadan I haven't been posting any food and that is just in respect on what people are going through at the moment. There's a lot of hunger in the world at the moment and I just thought it would be a bit inappropriate to share what I'm eating especially when there are people that can't even have a glass of water so in respect of that this year I did not share my food but I was planning to share with you guys what the boys have made for their friends what they have asked me to make for their friends actually yeah I wanted to share that with you guys but it was just mayhem there were too many boys there were too many boys okay there were 10 boys in the house like 10 little ones running around <laughs> and then i had harun and binyamin on top of that it was just it was mashallah tabarakallah alhamdulillah it went all well the children loved it and uh, yeah i wanted to celebrate my kids fasting and i did and i'm very very happy with that um I said to you guys that I will share abayas with you guys so that's what we're going to do today I don't have much time Salman today wants a um, kebab wrap and he wants everything from scratch he wants the dough from scratch this man he wants the minced meat from like oh he wants me to make everything from scratch I will share that recipe with you guys you guys are we have sawayed it's not a sawayed because I made it for my friend and she said this doesn't taste like sawayed for the so it's, it was meant to be survived and I've just added my own ingredients and it's just the most spongiest, the most tastiest, the most delicious thing that you could imagine. But yeah, you guys, that's what we're going to be having for iftar today. Um, let's get into the outfit. The first abaya that I'm wearing, you guys, is just... Oh, you guys, this abaya that I'm wearing right now, I got this from Doha. It's worth every little penny that I paid for. Like, you guys, one thing that you have to understand. <laughs> with me, you guys, I hate spending money. Like, I'm not them type of girls that loves to spend money. Every time I take a pee out of my pocket, it physically hurts me. <laughs> it physically hurts me. Like, there's so much I can do with that penny than to be spending. But I felt like I deserved a treat. And I got myself some luxury abayas. I feel like I deserve it. You might not agree with me, but I think I deserve it. So the abaya is actually beige and the walls behind me are white. I don't know if you're going to get the true, true abaya that I'm wearing. 
if I don't see you guys on the comment section about this abaya, like we are not friends. We are not friends. Like you guys. So let's get into the first abaya. Do you mind closing that for me, please? Everyone's gone to the park. Sulman's taken all the children to the park. And uh, this little one, he's fasting and uh, He's literally rolling around the floor. Like I said, you guys, he is my little mummy's boy and I love it. Close the door, mama. You could be my cameraman. How about that, Eunice? They're like stripes. This is the first abaya and I have paired it up with an old bag that I have. You see the details on this abaya? It, this is how the abaya looks. And uh, I love, I love. What do you guys think? It doesn't have any buttons, but it must have some sort of a magnet because look, once it touches, it just stays in place. You see that? So with this abaya, I don't know if it has a magnet, but once you put it together, it just stays in and it doesn't move. Like, how amazing is that? But yeah, what do we think? What do we think? Amazing. <laughs> I absolutely love it. I won't be wearing this on Eid day because I just don't want to get ruined. And we're going to be doing so many activities with the children. I'll probably wear this on a night out with the girls or with hubby right you guys i do apologize I'm, because i'm so far away from the camera i don't know if the lighting looks good this is the second abaya with this abaya what i have done is i have tucked in both sides of the hijab inside the abaya as you can see there's nothing sticking out but you can also take it out if you prefer let me come close and show you guys the detailing. See that abaya? They so have these wonderful hand bead stitches and beads that are on there. And it just looks fabulous. That is how it looks. So I paired it up with these Kitten Hill from Zara. The colour is silver, looks grey. And then just paired it up with a small little silver bag as you can see there's something about crossing your abaya it just has you looking like a feminine tell me this abaya is not life just tell me this abaya is not life like if i don't catch you in the comment section about these abayas i'm posting then you guys i am gatekeeping every abaya trust me how it looks I don't even know where I'm getting this energy at this point because <laughs> Let's go and get Abaya number three, okay? Right, are you ready? This one is rude. This abaya is just plain rude abaya. This one should not be allowed anywhere because you guys, like you have to understand, I will compromise with my shoes, I will compromise with my bag, I will compromise with my Western clothes, but I will not compromise when it comes to abaya. I just won't. I'm gonna have the most luxurious abaya, okay? Because I do not buy abayas due to trend. I buy abaya because it's timeless and it's classy. And this is what this abaya is. This abaya is just plain rude. I'm telling you, like, you gotta make way for this abaya. Are we looking at the detail in here? Are we looking? Like, you're telling me I can't pop into your wedding with this abaya. I can't pop into your party with this abaya. I cannot go out with you with this abaya. Are you serious? Like, I would have you opening doors for me if I got this abaya on, okay? When it comes to abaya, I am very, very selective. 
I am very very selective I don't have the luxury to travel to out of countries to pick up my abayas but when I have families traveling I have a list and I have pictures that they need to take off when they're coming back this actual abaya a friend of mine just arrived from the Emiratis in the UK and she's selling these I actually asked her to get me this one and she actually brought a few so if you guys really love this abaya then I will leave her link below and you guys can go purchase it off her but yeah I paired it up with this little mango bag and then I paired it up with these kitten heels that I got from Zara a few years ago and when I think of kitten heels I think of elegant I think of timeless I think of classic is just too smart oh no they have came back and i haven't even shown you guys enough let's see if Salman can take these lot upstairs so i can show you the rest you guys can i have Matt? Mm -hmm. i know you where are you coming from All deserve to feel a bit you know especially when we do the most and we do the most for everyone around us I think we deserve to look special and we deserve to look nice for once in a while and this is why this is why I pick up timeless abayas like when you're buying abaya girls please do not follow a trend because you pay a hundred pound for the abaya that trend is over what are you planning to do with that abaya like are you going to put it in the bin or wear it around the house what are you gonna do with it you only have two options wear it around your house or put it in the bin because that time has gone that time has gone but if you pick up a timeless abaya it will sit in your wardrobe for years and years and years to come and if you're lucky you might even pass it down to your granddaughter that is how i look at abayas and this abaya is not one of them ones that i usually go and reach out for but when i tried it when my girl showed me and I tried it, I was like, this is so me. And let me show you guys the move that this abaya makes. That is the move that it actually makes, okay? This is the move that we are making. And as you can see, it has this beautiful brooch. When you wear abayas like this, let's not overdo with the jewelry. I usually just have my ring and my watch on, and that is all the jewelry that you need because this abaya is making a statement on its own. You don't need to, you don't need to do anything. So you guys, let's go and get the other abaya. This is not my usual abayas, but I fell in love with the color and the detailing of this abaya. I do think it's nice to get abayas that are in trends, but also that won't be put it in the bin sort of thing after the trend is over. And I feel like this abaya does this abaya gives a trendy looking type of abaya the color is brown i don't think it's showing on the camera very well it's coming across purple to me when i'm looking in the camera but it is brown but the abaya is brown and it has a dusty rose in there as well yeah it does have a little shimmer but this shimmer is not the shimmer that's going to stay in the washing machine after you give it a wash oh yeah this is how it looks this abaya is literally screaming for all my girls that love them trendy abayas she's calling for you guys grab her yeah and you can also purchase this abaya in london if you are living in london i'm not quite sure if my girl ships it overseas And then I just paired it up with this little cutie. And then I have these kitten heels that I picked up from Mango that I paired it up with. Just if you are not blowing up my channel after this, 
you guys please do share i want to see share likes comment i want to see all okay because i am a mother of five and i am fasting and i still gotta make iftar and i made this effort for you so i made all this effort for you so you guys please do like share and comment okay it is 5 30 i'm gonna show you guys one more buy it and then i'm out what what she has arrived he has arrived we have arrived okay this is a boss woman's abaya she is a boss okay because this abaya is not like your other abayas this one will allow you to rock into it any meeting any formal occasion okay and you can feel Good. you can feel however you want to feel like Eunice just said I feel like I'm giving so much attitude today please help me yeah. I don't know what came over me there I feel like I'm giving attitude you know. but when you have these abayas on you have no choice but to bring that confidence with them abayas because you can't be wearing an abayas like this and be like you can't do that we just can't do that and the confidence needs to arrive with the abaya because this abaya is all occasions but I will actually wear this abaya to a formal and the hijabs you guys I didn't show you guys the hijabs on the other abayas but these abayas come with such an amazing hijabs the hijab is just the only way to describe these hijabs are butter they feel like a butter all right so light but so soft yeah and the details on this is also handmade you guys handmade the quality just screams now let me back away so you guys can see the whole outfit someone please just invent something to hold the abayas right in place like that because i don't like my abayas like this because i am a tiny girl and when i wear my abayas long sleeve like this even though you should be wearing it like that girls i just love to just a little bit pull it back but they keep rolling back down and i would love for somebody just to come out and invent something just to hold it in place like this and instead of me going like this all day long I could not be bothered to go all the way to the top floor to change bags so I'm just gonna keep rocking my mango bag all right but you could obviously rock it with any bag that you prefer I could show you another bag but that means I have to go all the way upstairs and the kids have arrived and if that is not gonna make itself and let, let's go down and have a look at her properly because she deserves to be looked at once again I paired it up with my Zara kitten heels right you guys i think that is enough if i say i'm gonna show you a bias it could take me all day but we don't have all day the kids just arrived if you guys seen and if that is not gonna make itself but if you guys do love a try on haul then do let me know because comment section and i will definitely do that for you guys i'm gonna go and uh, make iftar my next video is going to be eid deco because next wednesday you guys we are looking at eid how is next wednesday eid please tell me how is next wednesday eid where has ramadan gone i know where ramadan has gone because this year i had to pass the whole time thank you so much for always showing love so you know who you are because you always comment liking and commenting because i see you guys like i see if you think that i don't see your comments i see you guys and thank you so much and even if you don't comment me on my youtube you always make the effort to comment me on instagram and i really appreciate that and thank you so much i hope you guys have a blessed iftar inshallah ta'ala and i'll see you guys on my next video you guys tonight is laylatul qadr please 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 make sure that you stay up you read your quran and you get your extra ajr